Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Welcome to the video lecture session. This is Dr. Pungurali, Faculty, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, School of Electrical and Electronics, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. In this session, we are going to deal with 8086 microprocessor architecture. So, what is a microprocessor? Microprocessor is an integrated circuit which can be programmable that enables to get the data process over it according to the program instructions that has been given and give the output that can be stored in the memory or given to a output device that is connected to that. But it does not have any memory built inside that helps us to increase the speed of the processing. The basic features of 8086 microprocessor are it is a 16 bit microprocessor which is having a 20 bit address bus and so it can be able to process up to 1 megabyte of memory. It supports 64 KB of your input output ports and it provides 14 16 bit registers. It has a multiplexed address and data bus and 40 pin capability and these pins are dual pins and it has a 6 byte instruction queue which can able to fetch 6 bytes of instruction that we can call it as prefetching and keep it in the bus interface unit and this will be enabling us to execute the instructions fast and this 8086 microprocessor can work in two different modes one is minimum mode and the other one is maximum mode. In the minimum mode it will be working as a single microprocessor doing all the functions and in maximum mode it will be working as one of the microprocessor in a multiprocessor environment. So, the architecture of 8086 microprocessor can be divided into two functional units one is bus interface unit and the other one is execution unit. So, that the speed of the microprocessor can be increased. This is the overall view of the 8086 microprocessor. As we already told here bus interface unit is the this one is the execution unit right. So, outside the architecture only our memory interface and to that the memory how much we want that is maximum 1 MB of memory can be uh, connected to that right. So, this is the bus interface unit, this is the execution unit. In bus interface unit as we all told this is having a pipeline architecture. So, for many times I am mentioning about a pipeline architecture. What do you mean by pipeline architecture? In a pipeline architecture in this 8086 microprocessor we can able to fetch 6 uh, instruction bytes in uh, advance with the help of the 6 byte instruction queue and while uh, fetching the first instruction it will be fetching and while decoding the first instruction the second instruction will be fetched and while executing the first instruction the second instruction will be decoded simultaneously and third instruction will be fetched simultaneously and while reading or writing the operation that is performed in the first instruction at that time the second instruction will be executed third instruction will be decoded and fourth instruction will be fetched. Likewise, simultaneously the instruction decoding, executing and fetching operations will be happening. By this way, the speed of the processor will be increased, right. So, this structure is called as Harvard architecture, right. So, this is the 6 byte instruction queue. I have told this instruction queue will be fetching 6 bytes of the instruction first and one by one they will be executed right. So, this is the bus structure that is present 16 bit bus and here these are the segment registers that are present. As I already told the total 1 MB uh, accessible capacity of the memory can be divided into 4 different segments each of 64 KB capacity. So, each segment will be starting with one particular memory address right. So, that is called as the segment address the starting address of each segment is called as the segment address and that can be called as data segment, stack segment, code segment and extra segment register. This is the instruction pointer which is used to hold the instruction that is at address of the instruction that is going to be executed at that particular time. So, this is the data segment. Data segment is used to hold the operands. What is the data that is going to be processed? So, stack segment is meant for 
using as a stack and code segment is meant for storing the instructions that is the program that is stored in the code segment. Extra segment can be used when the data segment or the code segment drains out at that time we can use the extra segment for storing the data. This is a summation operator this is used to get the physical address of the uh, instruction or the memory location. So, what is the physical address? The total 20 bit address of 8086 microprocessor memory comes from adding the uh, data segment or the stack segment or the code segment or the extra segment that is the segment address and the offset address. So, the segment address plus the offset address gives you the total physical 20 bit address and this adding operation that is summation is done with the help of this summator right. So, that is why it is getting the data from the segment registers right. So, this is what the operation of the bus interface unit right. So, this bus interface unit gets the data finds out the address and executes uh, helps in executing the instruction. So, directly it is connecting to the control system of the execution unit. So, this unit only going to perform the execution operation. It comprises of A, B, C and D registers which are of 16 bit size, 16 bit general purpose registers. So, as usual as we know in 8085 microprocessor A register represents your accumulator. So, accumulator is a register or place where all the operations whether it is addition, subtraction, multiplication or division whatever may be the operation shifting, rotating whatever may be the operation it happens in the accumulator and uh, one of the operand will be present in the accumulator for sure and the result will be first reflected that is generated in the accumulator from there only we can take it to either a memory or a output device. Right. So, this is a, a register which is which we will call it as the accumulator which is of 16 bit size we can decode it as 2 8 bit registers also. So, A, B, C, D 4 general purpose registers can be used either as a 16 bit register or if required we can use them to store 2 8 bit data. So, at that time it will be having the higher byte and the lower byte right. So, higher order byte and the lower order byte they can be called as AH, AL, BH, BL, CH, CL and DH and DL right. This one is a special purpose register that is stack pointer, base pointer, uh, source index and destination index. All these four special purpose registers are meant for storing the address. So, as we all know pointers means they are going to store the address only. So, stack pointer means it holds the address of the top of the stack. So, base pointer means at the base segment what is the top of the top address of the uh, base segment that will be stored in the base pointer and source index destination index holds the address of source from where the data should be fetched. Destination index will be having the address to where the data should be stored. So, source and destination represents where to fetch the operands and where to store the operands. And uh, this control system gives decodes the instruction and uh, fetches the data and also it uh, will perform all the operation with the help of this arithmetic logic unit. As we all know right from our schoolings we are studying that arithmetic logic unit is meant for performing the arithmetic and logical operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and then AND operation, OR operation, XOR, NOR, NOT all those operations shifting, rotating all those operations negate also we can able to perform. And one of the advantage of this 8086 microprocessor is that in the previous version 8085 microprocessor we cannot able to do the uh, multiplication and division operation directly since we do not have direct instruction like multiply and divide in your 8085 microprocessor. Whereas, in your 8086 microprocessor it is a CISC microprocessor it is having a complex instruction set computing microprocessor. So, it is having direct instruction for performing the multiplication and division operation. So, that can also be performed with the help of the arithmetic and logic unit. Whatever operation it is performed the status will be uh, reflected in your flag register that is why it is called as a flag register. It is also a special purpose register of 16 bit size. It will be uh, reflecting the status of what is the result that is generated at that particular instant in your arithmetic logic unit and we can call it as the accumulator A register. So, 
this flag register is of 16 uh, bits each one is having uh, flags like uh, uh, carry flag overflow flag parity flag auxiliary carry flag direction flag all negate flag all those things are present right but all the 16 bits are not occupied few of the bits are left for future future usage so this is the work of the flag register so the operands are also given to that and via the bus the data can be transferred to the bus interface unit and in turn to the memory or the input output device. This is the architecture of your 8086 microprocessor. So this is the execution unit and what is the operation steps involved in the execution unit are it extracts the instructions from top of the queue in bus interface unit, it decodes those instructions. It generates the operands that are required to perform the operation and it passes those operands to the bus interface unit and request it to perform the read or write operation at the bus cycles that are required for them and it performs the operations that is specified by the instructions on operands. So the bus interface unit it mainly consists of as we have seen it mainly consists of four segment registers the instruction pointer and a prefetch queue we have seen no 6 byte prefetch queue and address generation circuit. So the bus interface unit what is the operation it is performing is it sends out the addresses it fetches instructions from the memory it reads the data from ports or from the memory data can be obtained either from a input device or it can be obtained from memory right. So it reads the data from ports and memory and when the result is generated after executing the instruction the result will be generated no that can be stored either in the memory or it can be given to a output device. So that operation writing operation can also be performed. So in simple words bus interface unit handles all the transfer of data and addresses on the buses for the execution unit. And the 8086 registers that we have seen no that can be classified as general purpose registers we can call it as data registers A to D right A uh, A X to A D when we are calling them as 16 bit registers we can call them as A X B X C X and D X when they are uh, used as 8 bit registers we can call them as A H A L B H B L C H C L and D H and D L and then the segment registers which are used to hold the segment address of each memory segment top address of each memory segment that is what are all the uh, memory segments that we are having that many segment registers. So totally four segment registers data segment register code segment reg register stack segment register and the extra segment register and the pointers and index registers are used they are the special purpose registers which are used to hold the addresses as we know pointers or indexes are meant for storing the addresses. So these are the 16 bit addresses. Next one is the flag register which is used to give the status of the accumulator or what is the particular operation that is going on upon which what is the intermediate result which is generated at that particular instant what is the status of the accumulator or the A register arithmetic logic unit. So this is what the architecture of your 8086 microprocessor and these are the general data registers as we have seen this is the segment register this is the flag register flag register can also be called as PSW what do you mean by PSW as it reflects the particular status of the uh, data that is executed and that is present in the uh, accumulator it can be called as program status word what is the status of the program that particular instant and we know that word represents 16 bits so it is called as a program status word the other name of your flag register can be called as program status word these are the special purpose registers we can call them as pointers and index registers which are used to store the addresses. So stack pointer, base pointer, source index, destination index and instruction pointer. Thank you.